take a couple more minutes if you guys don't mind just looking around see if I can find any more spiders because I actually like to make that last bed just to finish things off would I consider myself a hipster no because quite frankly I'm not entirely certain what a hipster is Indie games, indie games are great. Indie games are, are taking gaming back to its roots. Indie games are... We're just getting around all the problems that we're, that we're having, especially as YouTubers, uh, with AAA games. Uh, AAA games are becoming so rule-bound, so hide-bound. Um, so incredibly expensive, if nothing else. Seven. Where? Well, come on. What are you guys doing with the string? Yeah, there there is one, but it's now uh, the only the nearest one I know is now being down by spawn. So uh, I might actually give up on this a little bit and just go and do the last little bit I want to do with this house. And just accept the fact that I'm going to have to come back another day and kill spiders to uh, to get enough wool. Reason why is everything is um, in, in this house. Everything I used to build this house, I sourced within a hundred squares of it. Seven. One more would do. Just one more. Just one more. So I don't actually want to go off and, uh, um, oh, thanks. Uh, at the moment I'm running around looking for one last piece of string so I can make a bed. And then I just want to do a little bit of extra of this house I'm building. But I'm going to take my frustrations out on these creepers. And then all of a sudden I have too many spiders. Yes. Okay, that's given me enough. Um, yeah, there's one last thing I want to do on this this building, which is I want to put a little fishing dock out the back. Uh, because the one thing that this area is a bit hard for is food. So if people are stuck out here for a while, I want people to be able to uh, I want them to be able to to make food. So to that way, I've planted some 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 corn here some wheat here rather that can be extended out and make a little farm but I also want to put a little platform out here so people can stand out here and and fish in the water here oi get off my armor thank you so let's go and make that last bed and then the job is done in here and we just have the outsides to do oh, oh wrong end yep yeah, that was um squid they're totally harmless uh, and they can be killed for black ink we want to put that this way round. Like that. There we go. So, two sets of bunk beds, storage, crafting, rather shonky looking uh, refrigerator, just for a role playing table. I think we've done pretty well here, to be honest with you. And the only thing I could possibly do is get some oak and make some uh, little stalls to go around this table. I don't want to do that right away. I am going to need the oak in mind. So, where do we have the oak? Uh, okie, 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 okie. Hmm, don't seem to have any. Oh, there it is. Okay, so... The slabs... I'm going to want that, but in the meantime, sleep the night. There we go. Uh, 
So let's just get some slabs to start off with. And I will show you guys what I have in mind. And please do not apologize for asking questions and ask all the questions you want. I really don't mind. If I don't answer them, somebody else will. Yeah, these guys, they're squid. They're totally harmless. They're like cows. They can be farmed. And the best use for them is to make black ink. Can you sleep on top, Monk? Yes, you can. If we get a night time before I'm done, I will show you. So, let's just have a little platform here. Oh, slightly wrong place there. Yo. Oh, damn, I put those in the wrong place, haven't I? Ah, uh, stupid me. What's annoying is I put them in the wrong place twice. Oh. Get out, there we go. And let's put a bucket of water in there just to refill that. Put two buckets of water in there just to refill that. So that's that. And I just want to put just a little bit of a covering around this, this exit here. Oh, I need some more oak. <laughs> well, it is such a mighty chopper. I mean, look. Is that not a mighty chopper? Mm. Sharpness 3 is completely by accident, but it actually makes a fairly effective weapon as well. Alright, there we go. Alright, uh, let's cut down some of these and see if we can get another sapling to put in its place. I do like the colour these leaves change in the Mesa. Unfortunately, if you take, if you cut these leaves out using a, a shears or something like that, they don't keep the colour. There we go, that's what I was after. Which is really quite a shame, actually. So we'll plant a new tree in its place. Go. So let's just get a bit more wood here. Oh, I need to go inside now and use a crafting bench. What's that? That should do us. Uh, actually, yeah, thinking about it, um, quick explanation. I'm breaking three. Well, it means it's fairly obvious. It, it wears out faster. If you look at the, the line that says durability there, every time I use this to chop something down, uh, chop down a block, it, it goes down by one. And if it gets down to zero, the item breaks. Um, fortune is fairly useless on an axe to be totally honest with you but it, it increases the things that you're going to pop so if you have a fortune pickaxe and you cut into a diamond block you might get more than one diamond out of it sharpness means it does more damage and efficiency means it cuts through things faster so efficiency three item chops through wood for, uh, much faster for example yeah leaves do and it, it's such a shame that they do change color in the biome and if you actually just get a, a leaf all by itself it's not nearly as pretty as the the color you're getting here and that's enough really isn't it I don't actually need to put something over here I'm just thinking that that's enough it's a little platform to walk on the only thing I think I might do is just make some fencing and that's this way now now isn't it the fact that they changed fencing in 1.8 is so confusing sometimes. I just want to put in... A little pillar. I'll put that in slightly the wrong place.
Pop up before we drown. Okay, we'll just put that there. Let's try putting it in the right place. There's two reasons for this. The first one is I actually want to make that look like it's being supported by something. And also, if somebody does fall in there, there's a breathing hole. Still get out the other door? Yes, you can still get out the other door. Actually, that's a good thing to test to make 100% sure. You can still get out the other door. There you go. Next thing I really need to do is do something about the staircase, because it's horrible. But I can't be bothered to do that just yet. That's going to be quite a big job. I'm going to need to prepare the ma the materials and, and carve out a lot more, and my pickaxe is getting a bit worn. So I think I'm actually going to leave that there. Let's, let's go and have one last look before we go back. There we go, guys. My little house on the mesa. I look at it more actually. Don't like those. Get rid of them. Check the lighting. Yeah, the lighting's still good enough. Excellent. Right. <laughs> Creepy hallways. Yes, absolutely. One last look. Yeah. I think that works out pretty well, I think. Uh, I'm sure Hell Kitty would come along and point out everything I've done wrong, because she's very good at that. Yeah, I'd live here as well, to be honest with you. And if worse comes to worse, you can come up here and fight all the, uh, the zombies from the roof. There we go. Right. Thanks, guys. My ego is grateful. Okay, what else do we not need? Don't need that much. All those there for now. I'll come back here and kill some more spiders and get some more wool. Just to put on top of here. Just to make um, these look a bit nicer. And I think also the white wool is going to make... You know, just to give it a nice feeling of... Uh, just a theme. There we go, that's that job done. I'm going to head back to spawn. Yes, that's the reason. Uh, that's one of the reasons. The Mesa gives us the access to so much clay. And once you've got that, you can start building all these different colours and terracotta like houses and. It's just wonderful stuff. And then you come back here, which is so utterly horrible. Welcome to hell. My favourite resource pack. Not entirely certain. But I think Helen would find the place wonderful. It's an excellent place to just sit and study, you know. Just to sit and study. Um... I don't actually have a particular favourite resource pack, but my single player game at the moment is um, uh, Life in the Woods, which is a lot heavily modded. Um, resource packs are things that you can add to the game quite easily. Like this one here that I, I wrote this I wrote this for. Um, Exim Sugar, who has problems with the uh, the reticule, it makes her nauseous. So I do that, and I've now got a highly colourful reticule, which uh, makes it easier for her to run around with. So it's just a very easy way to um, just basically change the look and feel of the game locally. So you can have different sounds. The Team Tuxedo resource pack, for example, replaces um, uh, pork with bacon. And I, I, from right, Chris, doesn't it also replace um, apples with acorns?
Yes, I did. I made that for April. Egg Sim, Egg Sim Sugar. Oh, sorry. Sims 3 Simulator. Yes. Okay, I'm getting tired. Alright, let's run down this awful tunnel again. Oh, run out of food. Go. Oh, we can sprint again. It can be as simple as that. You can replace sounds, you can replace um, icons, you can replace the way items look and feel. Uh, I don't even use Optifine. I actually am a big fan of using vanilla as vanilla. Well, to be totally honest with you, it's to make up for the fact that uh, every single British woman is immune to the sound of us sexy men. So the only chance we really have is to go out there and talk to you women out there on the internet and say, Hey, ladies, don't we sound good? And it basically covers up for our personalities, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, Optifine's good for that. I just don't like the way it messes with the look. I actually really like the look. Um, if, have you, if you tried 181 yet, because it's a, a much, much better um, performance build. <laughs> Well, I heard one, because that's where I come from, you see. I come from the West Country, and uh, people out there, they sound a little bit like this. But, quite frankly, this one can sound good as well. Just not from me. Wink. Right. Back out here. Incidentally, that side doesn't go very far. It just goes down to... The one that I show you. Grab that. Hmm. A penny for every time I did that. Push the button and off you go. You gotta be honest with you, this is much easier than walking. Is that 1.8 sapphire or 1.8.1? Because they've done a huge amount of things to uh, um, improve things. I think Dora would like this place. I don't think Dora would like this place. Because look around here, okay? It's nothing to steal. Got to be honest with you, okay? Everywhere you look, everywhere you go, if you if you if you're from the place, everyone sounds the same. Um. It, it doesn't matter where you are. I happen to particularly like Romanian accents. Um, and in particular, a particular Romanian accent, and she knows who she is. Right, here we go. Okay. Into the end. Into the end with you. And this is where you fight the penultimate boss of the game, the Ender Dragon. Oh, hell. Go away. Thank you very much, but I'll take your, your, your pearls. Um, the place is full of Endermen with a grudge. And floating around, it, when you come to this place the first time, is a blooming great dragon. And at the top of each of these pillars is an item that heals the Blooming Great Dragon. And the reason why I'm looking down is I don't want to start any fights with the Enderman. But if you ever do, what you do is you stand under here and you look at them. Until they get annoyed and they can come running at you and you can hit them.
terrible, terrible noise as they're doing it. Run out, grab all that stuff, run back in again. Oh, you don't want me anymore. Thank you very much. Oh, you don't actually dislike me that much. And after you kill the dragon, you get this uh, place here, which is a portal back to spawn. <laughs> they are, yes. I'm going to skip this, okay? But if you ever play this game, make it, take a little bit of time to read this text because it's absolutely brilliant. Oh, that's where I spawned last year. <laughs> I've got to run down here again. <laughs> okay, guys, sorry. Running through the air, the nether again. All right. Yeah, as I said, that is the penultimate boss, the dragon, and uh, the one after that is the wither, which you can, uh, you, you, you basically, you've got to farm some of the wither skeletons in the nether, you can find in the fortresses, you get three of the heads, you can make another creature called the, the, the wither, which is possibly the toughest boss in the game, actually no possibly about it, it's the toughest boss in the game, and... If you beat him, it gives you a, a, a nether, a, a wither star, a nether, a wither star, I think it is, um, which allows you to make an item which gives loads of bonuses for the area around you. So we'll be doing that as a team fairly soon. And I shall have to put another monument in the library for it. So, sorry guys, running down this path again. I do apologise. I should have thought and slept before I did. Talking Cat 96, I don't think I've said hello to you, so hello. Um, my 7.30 to 10 o'clock uh, live stream is extended just a tiny bit, seeing as it's coming up to midnight. Um, where's that portal lead to? It just leads to some caves. Uh, actually, if you don't mind, I won't run back to it. It just leads to some caves where we were we were running around for some uh, mining. Why do I have so many voices in April's Laura and Amazon Princess? Because I'm a very greedy person. And I love doing the voices. So if the opportunity jumps up and those two start arguing amongst themselves about who's going to do it, I do it. And it's very wrong of me sometimes, but uh, hopefully they don't they don't get too offended by it. I just like doing the voices, you know, it's just fun. I don't know if I've asked you yet, Megaris, if you watched the other two of the uh, the Naughty Trios, um... Uh, games... Kaylee! Hello! Um, yeah, the uh, Magical Diaries on April, uh, on Laura's channel, and uh, Fading Hearts on mine. No, oh, I left it behind. I was hoping I had a, uh, a rail cart. But then again, the railways run out right here. So, not really much use. I'll sort this. Yep, I was that bored. <sighs> Okay, so, actually, I think it's coming up to midnight. Do Laura and April ever watch my live stream? Um, not normally, no. Occasionally they might pop on, but I'm not going to guarantee it. Uh, actually, I think, considering it's coming up to midnight, I'm probably going to call an end to this now. Uh, I'm getting a bit hoarse and tired, and... Uh, we've done lots. And I think I need to stop this recording before it fills up my... Uh, um, <laughs> I, uh, I think I need to stop recording before this fills up my hard disk anyway. So, the next thing I want to do, actually, you guys, is probably going to be this river. And it teleports you. 
It teleports you long distances, but you take a bit of damage while doing it. Like that, you see? So... Okay, and as promised, meet Ted, meet Bill. And this little place is my character's home. So, okay guys, oh, excuse me, having a little bit of a yawn and a stretch because I'm somewhat tired. I'm going to call it there. Um... Uh, so I'm, yeah, I'm going to call it there. I'm going to I'm going to say good night. I hope you guys have had fun. Um, this went on a touch longer than I was expecting, like two hours. So uh, we've got plenty done today, and I hope you guys have had a good time. I certainly have. Uh, so thank you very much, everyone, and good night, guys. Good night.